Now, here's the MLB Bro TV show. The best from MLBBro.com. Let's go. Welcome to the MLB Bro Show. My name is Jalen Gilkey, and I have the privilege of being your host. So, you might ask, what is the MLB Bro Show? Well, it's simple. We highlight the black and brown brothers from across the major leagues, bringing you all the highlights, the stats, and the sound bites from around the show right to your screen. The judge has ruled the month of May, so let's get this week's MLB Bro Show started with Chris Bolton as he breaks down the numbers Aaron Judge has put together the last week of action. This week's homeboy is New York Yankees superstar outfielder Aaron Judge. Judge has been sentencing baseballs to punishment outside of Yankee Stadium all season long. In his last seven games, Judge is batting 500. That's right, 500 with four home runs and seven runs batted in. On Sunday, Judge extended his hit streak to seven games going one for four with a two-run bomb in the Yankees' 7-2 win over the Chicago White Sox. Few players possess the power Judge does at the dish. He continues to demolish baseballs as he sits in third place in the AL in home runs with 13. Judge is playing like the star he is, which is why he is this week's homeboy. Now let's go to Chicago, where on the south side, the White Sox are starting to figure things out, and the vet, Tommy Pham, is one to thank. On Chicago's south side, there hasn't been much to celebrate for the White Sox, but one thing Sox fans have to cheer for this year is the resurgence of MLB bro, Tommy Pham. The 36-year-old outfielder was picked up by the Sox at the end of April, and since then, Pham has been swinging one of the hottest bats in the league since signing on the dotted line. In 21 games, Pham is hitting 314 with an OPS sitting at 812, as he's been the most consistent and most dependable bat in the White Sox lineup. The White Sox still have the worst record in the show, but Tommy Pham is doing whatever he can to carry this team out the basement of the division, and the hope is they could possibly make a respectable run headed to the All-Star break. I'm Jalen Gilkey for MLBBro.com, and I'm spitting straight facts. In the land of 10,000 legs, Byron Buxton is back off the IL and destroying baseballs once again. Chris Bolton has more. Minnesota Twins outfielder Byron Buxton is a name known and respected in baseball. Throughout his tenure with the Twins, Buxton has put up big numbers when healthy. After a stint on the injured list, can Buxton continue to produce at a star level? Prior to his most recent knee injury that placed him on the 10-day IL, Buxton was cooking. His batting average was 250 with 11 runs batted in through 92 at-bats. In the two games he started since making his return, Buxton recorded a hit in both games. Injuries aren't anything new to the 10-year vet. He's battled his fair share during his career, but when Buck plays, he delivers. We're talking about an all-star and a gold glove winner. If there's a player to bet on to get the job done after missing time, Byron Buxton is the guy. It's time for Live on Tape with Malik Wright as he goes one-on-one with the Angels' first base coach, Bo Porter. That uh, conversation you had with Ron Washington when he told you that he wanted you to be a part of this staff, uh, so the, how did that go? And I mean, it's special what he's trying to build. Uh, just talk about what you guys are trying to establish here. Well, it's special just because of the, the man that Ron Washington is and two, the relationship that him and I share. Um, I've known Wash a long time. He is one of the historians of the game as it, as it relates to just the fabric of what the game represents, his emphasis, the t- attention to detail, fundamentals. It was an honor for me to, uh, to join Wash in this staff. Out in the Bay, Jordan Hicks is dominating hitters in his new starting role, but his work off the field is what's more impressive. Rachel Hill has everything you need to know. Pitcher Jordan Hicks of the San Francisco Giants. Right before the season started, the right-hander in the San Francisco Giants finalized a $44 million four-year contract, a deal that includes performance bonuses for innings that could increase the total to $52 million. As part of the agreement, Hicks will donate $220,000 to the Giants Community Fund, $40,000 this year and $60,000 in each of the following three years. You can tell by making direct donations to the Giants Fund. He cares about the community and improving the the lives of others. And now it's time for our track of the week, courtesy of KRP, the producer, and the gambler. That ball is out of here. Home run. 
We got all pros, pro bros, put it up your nose bros, black baseball bros, colder than a snow cone, keep it in the strike zone, cheesing in the postseason, in the ghost previous spitting backs like black Jesus, bar and C's, call Lee Smith, it's closing season, on your knees, backstop and cash these, slow breeders, like jazz chism, I'm a culture breeder, it's mad lit when the bros are featured, the black Bryce Harper, the white ball of salt, uh, digging ditches, Murder on them stitches, three strikes, three wishes, heater on the dishes, block spinning hitmen with beaters on but gifted. For the best coverage of the black and brown ballers from all across the league all week long, make sure you log on to MLBBro.com or check us out on Instagram, TikTok, or IG. I'm Jalen Gilkey. Until next week, peace. It's sponsored by MLB Bro, because you need to know.